President Mohamed Buhari says returning the governing all progressives Congress to power in the 2023 elections is a critical pathway towards sustaining the nation's upward trajectory in social economic growth. The President stated this while receiving a high power delegation from Nassau State on a thank you visit. State House Respondent Adam Osambo reports. Led by Governor Abdullahi Suley, the Nasarawa delegation comprising royal fathers, community and political leaders irrespective of party affiliation is here to show appreciation to the president for the numerous projects executed in the state as well as approving the takeover of the Lafayette Airport by the federal government. By this approval, Your Excellency, we can now see our airport being properly utilized, not only as the cargo airport that was originally meant for, but as a commercial and more importantly, a security airport. This will create enormous economic activities, employment opportunities, and more importantly, more security for our state and our region. Most heartwarming is the approval of the reform of all the expenses incurred in the construction of the airport by the Nasarawa state government. 60% of the refund, he said, will be utilized in the completion of the Lafia Cafe Road and the balance in promoting youth agricultural activities, equipping three science and technical schools, two new general hospitals, as well as the construction of modern markets in Nasarawa, Wamba, Toto, and Awe towns. I wish to reiterate the assurances of the goodwill, support, and loyalty of the good people of Nasarawa state to your administration, even as you prepare to round up your tenure, we solemnly pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will continue to grant your excellency good health, divine guidance, and enduring capacity to continue to deliver service. President Muhammad Buhari, who described Nasarawa State as very dear to his heart, expressed the conviction that the people will always stand to be counted in the wondrous task of entrenching democracy and pushing forward the frontiers of good governance in the country. The community of Nasarawa State to the FCT naturally makes the state a partner in infrastructure and development. We therefore need more collaboration to enhance this proximity with other contiguous states to achieve more integrated development. I am personally committed to the joint efforts by the state and the federal government to facilitate easy transportation by road, railways, and the airports and was as far as no nation can be said to be developed without these components of infrastructure. To reassure Nigerians and indeed the international community of his administration's commitment and personal desire to bequeath an irreversible political process that will remain democratic and acceptable to the people. The upsetting elections in Anambra, Ekiti and Oshun states confirm the administration's resoluteness on this matter. My desire for our nation is that the 2023 elections should clearly mark the commencement of the institutional strength of our electoral body in conducting acceptable, credible, and violence-free elections. The new electoral act is an attestation of the fulfillment of our determination and commitment to the tenets of the rule of law. President Buhari, however, stressed the need for continuity to enable the governing APC consolidate on its achievements in the last seven years. This, he said, is not only important for Nigeria alone, but also the West African sub-region. From the State House, Adamu Sambo, NTA News.